You are now entering the Synodics. I am Alex, and in today's video, we had that laptop back there that we're going to talk about briefly. This is a hands-on kind of one week with, I've had this laptop for about a week now, that we're talking about the Razer book. And the way Razer talks about this laptop is it's not really a gaming laptop, which is kind of ironic coming from Razer. This is actually what Razer wants you to think of as like a productivity laptop, like what you would use a MacBook for or like a Surface laptop for. They want you to get work done here. And so with this year's, it's not really even like a refresh or anything. This is just a lower starting price point and Windows 11. So instead of getting an upgrade to Windows 11, Windows 11 comes straight out of the box on this laptop. So no upgrades needed, it already comes with it, whereas last year's model, you can upgrade it to Windows 11. And the new starting price is at $999, which is that model that we have there. So this is the base model. So I'll tell you guys what this first week's been like. It's It's been interesting, so let's talk about it right now. So I'm, I'm just going to read off some specs for my phone right now for this so we can just get it out of the way. This has an 11th gen Intel Core i5 processor. It runs, of obviously, I was just talking about that Windows 11, which I guess is a selling point to have Windows 11 right now on a brand new laptop. This is actually the first time I'm using Windows 11, by the way, uh, as well. So my first exposure to the uh, updated um, uh, Windows OS. We also have a 13.4 inch full HD matte display. It's 1920 by 1200p. And um, this also has an Intel Iris XE graphics chip. So there's not, not really like a dedicated gaming graphics card on here. And then it has 256 gigabytes of storage and uh, eight gigabytes of RAM here. And we also have, of course, the Razer Chroma keyboards that basically every Razer laptop has. It's very signature for their stuff. You can customize it with their software, the Razer Synapse. So that's all cool stuff here. Uh, but yeah, other than that, that is what this laptop is in terms of its specs. And obviously during my full review of this laptop, I will actually dive into all the performance and stuff like that. But the first thing I want to just show you guys is just how how clean of an unboxing experience this is. I actually really like the unboxing experience here that Razer has had. I haven't actually had a Razer laptop since uh, the Razer Blade Stealth. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. Lita reviewed that uh, a couple years back. But the reason I'm interested in this laptop is because for $999, you are getting a surprisingly really good build quality. And the way Razer ships it to you, everything is a very high-end experience. It's a very luxurious unboxing experience, similar to what Apple gives you with the MacBooks. Very simplistic, very clean. I love the unboxing experience here. Uh, it was terrific. And then the minute I pulled out the laptop, I realized it was actually a little heavier than I thought it would. But the build quality is terrific. This is a solid slab of aluminum, and it just feels terrific on your hands. It's very nice and cool. Uh, everything is nicely chamfered. On the left side of the Razer book, there's a USB-C port, a USB-A port, and a headphone jack. And then on the other side, we have a micro SD card reader, an HDMI slot, a full one, and a USB-C slot. So not a lot of ports or anything, but there's enough to get things done. You know, at the end of our time with our Razer Blade Stealth, uh, we, we did kind of have like some issues with it. You know, the, the build quality and things like that were, were great to start off with, but it deteriorated rather quickly over time. But something feels different about this laptop, and it's been a few years since I've had a Razer laptop, so... Uh, it's been a hot sack, so I do feel like I'm starting to fall in love with Razer again with this laptop in terms of how it feels. The trackpad is nice and spacious. It's rather solid for a Windows laptop. You know, I still think the surfaces have probably the best trackpads for a Windows laptop right now, um, but I like how Razer has dedicated the slot, the space here. It seems very spacious. Uh, from one week of use, it seems pretty nice so far. Same thing with the typing experience and all the RGB lighting that you can use. Very luxurious looking, feeling laptop here. Um, the display, this is not a touchscreen. It's also not a 4K one. You can upgrade to those options. But for $999, the one we got here is just a simple full HD display that actually looks really good. Watching some videos and things like that, it does look solid off the bat. We'll see how this goes the longer I use it to watch more media and play more games on it. But off the bat, I do like the colors that just jump off on this uh, display here. And the biggest issue, though, right off the bat is Windows 11. Like, 
if I had the option, I would probably just get the Windows 10 one and not upgrade it anytime soon because Windows 11 straight off straight out of the box is probably not a good idea. It's I so I lost the taskbar icons uh, like three days into using this or not even three. It's like two days into using it. The second day I, I booted it up and boom, it was gone. And I've tried all the fixes. I've tried the commands. Uh, I've tried basically everything you've seen on all the on the beta, uh, de- developer and beta builds that this issue has come across, and none of it has fixed it. And uh, it's a little bit frustrating for me right now. Um, I'm basically the last like three four days I've been using it without taskbar icons, so I have to use keyboard shortcut commands to do anything, and it's very frustrating. I understand that this isn't really even a Razor problem. This is a Windows problem. And, you know, anytime you have a new OS, that's going to be an issue. But, you know, one of the selling points that at least they were trying to market is that you have not an upgrade. It has it shipped out of the box, which is supposedly a selling point for this Razor buck. So what I'm telling you is for $999, it is very frustrating to use right now because Windows 11 just doesn't work on this particular unit. I could be unlucky. Everybody's experience is different with new software, obviously. I mean, heck, I have a Tesla, so I've experienced it all too. But the problem right now is that this is barely, barely functional. I can't really do anything on this laptop because without the taskbar, it really is a... Windows is really a difficult experience to go through. And I'm going to have to postpone my review a little bit too because I can't really do much until they push... A software update for me to fix this even though i've tried all the other quick fixes and i've updated it to the current software the current version of what windows has pushed out so far so i'm still trying to tinker to figure it out and i will get this done before the full review whenever that is in a month or so but as of right now i love the build quality i think this is going to be a decent laptop to use we'll see what the graphic uh prowess is in terms of gaming and also maybe some like photo editing We'll see how much this can actually handle. But in the meantime, this just seems like a very good, I, I don't even want to say like an ultra book, but it is something that I could see like MacBook Air users be potentially interested in because I do feel like they're kind of in the same segment. So I'm very interested to see where this will go in a month. Windows 11, once it gets itself figured out, I'm going to get everything going and then we're going to actually we're actually going to see what this thing can do. And I'm very excited for that because I haven't had a Razer laptop in quite a long time. And I already started feeling a little different about this laptop in a positive way. And then, of course, Windows 11 dropped it the opposite way. But we'll figure it out. Uh, but until then, yeah, be sure to hit that subscribe button because you're going to want to come back to hear my full thoughts on this laptop. Um, can it beat my MacBook Pro? Because I use my MacBook Pro for everything work-related. Uh, Razer wants us to use this for productivity. I'm going to try to do that. Um, and also comment, let me know what you want me to try this laptop to do. You want me to play some AAA games or do you not even really care about gaming on the Razer book because that's not its main intention? I don't know. We're going to try it out. I even might plug in my eGPU on here and see if I can use that with this. I'm very excited to actually play with this laptop once I get Windows 11, by the way, back on track. So I'm Alex from the Subnautics. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next video. The only thing better than a Tesla stock is subscribing. (laughs) Are these cute to use?